G'day Steel Nation Australia, G'day Steel Nation Worldwide, and G'day Steel Nation Universe. Man. All right, guys, I do apologize for my uh, croakiness. My throat's been acting up a bit weird the last few days. No, it's not a cold. No, it's not any of this kind of stuff. I don't know if I've been doing more videos. Uh, I don't know. It's, I just sound a little bit funky today. Um, but I still want to talk about the Steelers, and we're going to do that. So if you do like the content, hit that sub, hit that like. If you don't like today's video, man, I'm, I apologize. Uh, I will get better. My, I just sound a little bit funky. I sound a little bit like, I don't know, I just sound different. Anyways, we're talking about the uh, the Steelers, and we're talking about the Steelers receiver or the wide receiver room. The last few days has been a crazy, crazy time in the NFL, the NFL free agent uh, period. We lost Juju to the Chiefs. We lost uh, Ray Ray to the Niners, and we lost... Um, who else we lose? Who's the other bloke? Ray Ray to the Niners and James Washington. James Washington to the Dallas Cowboys. So what it felt like over the last few years from 20, you know, 18 and 17, and we, we always had the, some of the best receivers you could ever think of um, with the Steelers, is now dwindling. We have no one. It, does, it feels like we have no one in our locker room, right? Um, the Steelers at the moment have Claypool, who's considerably number one. And Deontay Johnson is also number one. So two number ones, uh, maybe two number twos. I don't know. It just, it's, um, yeah, losing Juju, James Washington, and now Ray Ray as well. That's that's like a, you know, 70% or, or 60% of your receiver class uh, or receiving team that we had last year in 2021 with Big Ben. So it's, it looks like we're going in a brand new direction. Uh, we're keeping, you know, Claypool, of course, is still there. I think he needs to prove, Claypool needs to start to do better. And DJ, uh, Deontay Johnson also needs to, you know, learn to catch the football down the end of the season. He had a tremendous year last year. I'm not taking that away. But there were, certain, there were some certain times that with Johnson just didn't, just didn't, you know, cut the mustard. However, it begs the question now, with the Steelers, who, who are they going to bring in to replace Juju, Washington, and Ray Ray? Or even, even you know, become better stars at, at that field um, in the receiving room? So we did also bring in, I can't pronounce his name, um, Gunnar Ozlowski. Is that right? Uh, I'm just double checking, guys. Gunnar, Gunnar from, from New England, the return specialist. Gunnar Ozlowski. Man, I can't pronounce that. Anyways, we brought him in uh, as a receiver. You know, I don't think, I think he'll be like receiver four or five, maybe not even three. And he's more of a return guy. Right, so he's more of a return guy there. So that was like a, a big little move. Like no one really talks about that. No one really wishes him that much well. He's okay. He'll, he'll just take spot, uh, Ray Ray's spot, right? And then on the rest of the roster, as I'm looking at the roster now, right, Claypool number one. Let's just say for argument's sake, Claypool's number one. DJ is number two, right? Who's going to be three, four, and five, right? On the roster right now, you have uh, Anthony Miller, which was a, he was a former bear, right? Steven, Steven Sims Jr. I think he was a former Washington football player. Cody White, Tyler Vaughns, and Rico Bussey. And you're probably thinking, who are these fellas? You know, who are these guys? I'm the same, right? I'm pretty sure that Tyler Vaughns and Rico Bussey have not caught one pass with the Steelers, like an actual career pass. Cody White, number 15, who's on our practice squad. And all these guys are actually Miller, Stephen, sorry. Yeah, Miller, Sims, Rico, Bussy, Cody White, Tyler Vaughn. They've all um, got a one-year future contract with the Steelers till 2023. So a lot of these guys will go into training camp and become part of the practice squad. And they will play preseason games, and that's about it. Right, the only player out of those out of those three I mentioned, Tyler Vaughn, Rico Bussy, and Cody White, is Cody White. I think has five catches for thirty three yards or something similar, something really low. Right, so you're thinking they won't. There's no way that those three players are going to be part of the receiver, the wide receiver room, or a starter, or even push to be number three, four, or five. Right. However, there is a connection there, though. The first connection I found was Anthony Miller um, used to be a Chicago Bear, 
right? If you take a look at take a look, this is probably the best chance, I think, for receiver number three. Let's say that Miller could be receiver number three. Claypool, Deontay, and Miller. That to me sounds kind of cool. Yeah, we all know Heath Miller, right? But let's look at his stats. Okay. Um, he's had two, this is his whole career, whole career, right? Number 17. Formerly used to be Eli Rogers. Uh, right. Targets 227, receiving 140 catches, yards 1,500 or almost 1,600, and touchdowns 12. So like I said, Miller is a former Chicago Bear, came into the league in 2018 at the age of uh, 24. He has played uh, 50 games and started 18. So that's quite a good resume for him to build himself in, you know, into the roster spot at number three. But the big connection there is he came into the league at, at 2018, played, played with the Bears for three years, and a couple of those years were playing with um, Mitchell Trubisky. So the connection is already there. And we can start to form an idea. Well, if he has, if he has, you know, twelve touchdowns, he has over almost sixteen hundred yards. It seems logical that he might fight for that third receiver spot, or maybe even fourth. Now, hopefully, if he does, if he does make the team, he can link up with yet again uh, Trubisky. If Trubisky is number one starter, right? So let's just let's just say, for argument's sake, we put him there, Miller at four, uh, at three, right? I put him at three. Then he started to think, who's going to be our receiver for? And this is where it gets kind of like interesting as well. Do we go down the, the path of the free agency? Do we bring in the, some of the veterans? So I looked up some of the veterans. I'm just doing the old Google job as we, uh, as we talk right now. The free agents still in the market, Julio Jones, Landry, Will Fuller, T.Y. Hilton, Cole Beasley, Emmanuel Sanders, right? Now, some of these blokes are ex extremely old for their position, right? Their receiver. Nothing to me really stands out and says even for even uh, you know for even sake right, Deshaun Jackson is still listed there and Odell Beckham Jr. is a free agent. So many of these guys have been jumping around the league or jumping around the different NFL teams um, that I don't know. I'm not too sure if the free agent is right for the, the the Steelers to pick up a receiver and say, "Hey, on come over to our team. We need you." And what receiver from a from a free being a free agent? would want to go to the Steelers. You know, you have a new quarterback in Mitchell Trubisky. You have the second, the backup in Mason Rudolph, right? Um, it's not like Big Ben is there anymore. So you start to think, who would actually who would actually want to come over to be a Steeler? Now, if I was a receiver, I would want to come over because, you know, you do have, I guess, a, a, good, to, a good to great, maybe caliber quarterback in Trubisky. And also the defense should, should be able to help this team out. But it is interesting to see that no real names jump out at me and say that the Steelers will target them. There have been ideas where people do want, you know, Julio Jones to come over, but the bloke's like 33 years old, right? So if we can't get any any free agent coming over at the fourth position, right? Say for say for yeah, we've got Claypool, Deontay, and Miller being the three. Then another guy that's quite young and I think might might work with this team is already on the team is Steven Sims. So he's another bloke here that has 93 targets, 61 receptions. That's a pretty high rate, really. And 575 yards and five touchdowns. So will this Steeler team go into the offseason? Will we end up bringing anyone in? Like, I'm not an expert. There's no way that I'm an expert. I'm not a draft expert. I'm just a fan. So from a fan, you know, fan um, aspect or view, I'm a little bit worried. I am like, we lost Juju, we lost Ray Ray, and we lost James Washington. What players do we have left? You know, I just talked about quickly about Stephen Sims. He used to be a Washington football player. He's been there two years. Will he be the fourth guy, right? But at the same time, I, I still don't think that Claypool is proven to be number one. We all saw his antics last year with the point the celebrating, the the TikToking, I just, I just feel a little bit uneasy um, heading into the draft. Do we go out there and draft a receiver? Now, like I said, I'm not an expert, and you're probably wondering why the hell do I have a YouTube channel? But it's all for me. It's just passion based, right? And I want to see this team do well. Now, I don't know too much about the draft. This is probably the the I guess the the deadest time for me, um, trying to you know get you guys pumped up about the Steelers, right? But if we if we bring a guy in at 20, if we bring a guy at 20, right, is that too high for a receiver? 
I, I don't know. I can't. I can't. I can't right now for twenty. If for me, if if Malik's there, I think you draft a quarterback like like Malik and let him sit, right? Uh, if he's not there, I wouldn't mind seeing an O lineman or or another defensive piece. But then you have to kind of attend to, you know, the elephant in the room right now is we have two receivers on our wide receiving, you know, roster or the depth chart. And I think Anthony Miller will push himself up to be number three because he has a connection with Trubisky. Then you say, well, who's the number four and who's going to be five? Will, will the fifth receiver be Gunner? I uh, mean, I cannot pronounce his name. Gunner, where are you, mate? Gunner, Gunner, Gunner. What is your name, dude? Gunner Ozzuski? Oz, Ozzuski? Yeah. Will Gunner be number five, right? And if Anthony Miller goes into the role of number three, who's the number four? This might be one of the strangest times, still a nation, we have ever seen um, in regards to the receiver room. So, yeah, I want to know your guys' thoughts. Like I said, I'm not an expert on any of this stuff. I turn on the TV, I yell as hard as I can, and I try and get after my team. But what I do know and what I do see is Claypool, is he number one? And is DJ even number one too? It kind of seems like a bit like bare bones at the moment. And I know we need to trust the process, trust Tomlin, trust, you know, Kevin Colbert and the Steelers organization and, and the Roonies. We've always done really well over the last 20 years that I've been watching, right? And even historically with the the, the bloody thing behind me, uh, we have six Super Bowls for a reason. It's just kind of funny that we lost Juju and we lost Ray Ray in Washington in a space of like three or four days. And all we have left is two receivers, Claypool and Johnson, that are that, you know, a high caliber or at, who have started a lot of games for the Steelers. Maybe not, maybe not so much high caliber. We know what D- DJ is fantastic. Claypool's still learning, right? I think he's still learning, needs to grow up, in my opinion. Uh, and don't we all? But we, you know, they have the they have the repetition there for being for being a um the Pittsburgh Steelers like starting, you know, like they have so many starts under their belt where the other guys have next to no starts. So this kind of worries me just a little bit, just a little bit. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think we should, uh, yeah, go go somewhere in the draft? Do we convince Julio to come over? Um, does, does Jarvis Landry come to us too after being what, a Dolphin and a Brown and now then a Steeler? Man. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of a bit antsy. I, I kind of want to hear some big news break so we can get a res, uh, a receiver, uh, another veteran in the locker room, or do we wait until the draft and everything's sorted out and everything's fine? I don't know. But yeah, thanks guys for checking out uh, Steel Nation Australia. I'll see you later.